Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Hello, I just said hello. Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my nighttime skincare routine. I was really excited to film this. Not only has like my skincare completely changed because I left every single item of skincare that I own, like that I use regularly, I left it all in Europe on our honeymoon. So I had to repurchase literally everything, um, which was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but because I felt like I kind of needed to like zhuzh up my skincare anyway, like my skin was just not loving what I was doing. So I was ready to try new products. Um, but also, it's just been a while since I've done one. I can't even remember the last one I've done. Uh, but I will have it linked above if you kind of want to see the transition. My skin is still kind of in the same state as it always is. I still continue to get breakouts. Not as bad as they were in my first skincare video. I have kind of figured out what products to stay away from, what products to use. But I'm continuing to learn and just take better care of my skin. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I hope that you enjoy. If you like this video and like the content that I create, please consider subscribing. It would mean so much to me. So just pause the video, quickly subscribe, and then watch me take off my entire face. Let's dive into it. Okay, so this is a whole day's worth of makeup. I went to work today, I ran a few errands, and now I'm ready for the night to be done. I need to like take this off my face. That is the best feeling ever is when you can take off your makeup. What we're going to start with first is my first cleanse. I like to do a double cleanse at night especially. And this is the Boshia, I never know how to say it, the Boshia Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And I love to use a cleansing oil rather than a cleansing <laughs> rather than a cleansing balm. They both work in the same way. They're just gonna melt and dissolve off all of your makeup. Um, but I like to use a cleansing oil because it just like I don't want to stick my fingers into a balm. If that makes sense. So that's the only reason why I opted for like a pump version. Um, but I love being able to just like break up my skin and do a double cleanse this way. It just helps get everything off. So I took it onto dry hands and my dry face and just start dissolving all of my makeup. And this gets literally everything off of my skin and it's so gentle and smells really good. I love being able just to like take some time and really like massage my skin. <laughs> I think that's why like washing my face takes so long because at the end of the day when you've been at work and you're like trying not to scratch your nose, scratch your face, like hi my skin is gonna show if I move any muscles on my face so I can't be doing that. Now I'm going to rinse this off. I literally have a bowl of water in front of me because my bathroom has horrible lighting. I cannot wait till we get a bathroom with a window. Okay, now that my skin is so wet, I'm going to pat it dry. Okay, and then before I go into my real cleanser, um, I'm going to take a little bit of the makeup wipes just because I didn't scrub my eyes. I'm just going to quickly wipe it away with a makeup wipe. And my favorite, favorite ones to use are the Simple Sensitive Skin Makeup Wipes. These are so good. They're so gentle. I've recently learned not to obviously like go in with just a makeup wipe. I only use makeup wipes on my eyes just to get the residue off because a makeup wipe is really just like like swirling everything around and not really cleaning but I feel like for the eyes it's like doing the job but I don't do it on my face anymore okay I grabbed a mirror so I could like stop looking in the viewfinder so hopefully it's less distracting let's go like this okay so now that all my hair my hair <laughs> now that all my makeup is off I'm just taking this makeup wipe this is probably gross but like I'm taking it and washing like washing my hairline just because I feel like when I'm swirling the oil around it'll get into my hairline and she's not trying to wash her hair every day so we're just gonna clean it up a little bit okay so this is the first cleanse all my makeup is removed, but I still don't feel like my skin is clean, which is why at night I will do a second cleanse. So for my second cleanse, I just have the Kiehl's Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. I'm going to get my hands a little bit wet and foam that up. And I love this because even though it is a foaming cleanser, it's so gentle. I was using this foaming cleanser. I can't, I think it was like, I can't remember the brand, but it was honestly like I would take it off and I couldn't even like touch my skin. It was just like streaking all of the oils. And this is so gentle. I have normal to combo skin and, and it doesn't irritate me whatsoever. But of course, that's why a lot of these things are travel size because when I'm trying new products, like I'm not trying to get the full size and it not work. <laughs> so, okay, now we're going to rinse this off. Okay, we're going to continue to pat dry our face. It's always the saddest to see like your face compared to your tan neck. <laughs> I never tan my face because it just irritates it. So now my cleansing is completely done. My skin feels so clean. It can like finally breathe. Like I feel like I can feel the air just so much more, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's so weird. But I love taking off my makeup. So as you can see, I now am going to work on my spot treatments. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is a toner. I love this witch hazel toner. So good. I bought the freaking full size and took it all the way to Europe and then I left it. But I had to repurchase this because I love it so much. Okay, after my toner, then I'm going to go into my serum and this is by the brand Versed Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. I just take two to three drops. I was using the Glossier Serum. Sadly, that was left. I loved that one, but I've been really enjoying this one and it's vegan, cruelty-free, all nice natural ingredients, and it's been doing a really nice job and it's, it's pretty affordable. It's more affordable than the Glossier one, which is why I wanted to try something new. After that, I'm just gonna follow it up with the Intensive Care Hyaluronic Acid by Cosrx. I don't know how to say that, but I believe this is a Korean skincare brand and it is so, oh my gosh, it is so hydrating. It makes my skin feel so good. And I lather this on because especially like I do with any moisturizer, but now that we're getting closer to summer, I need my skin to be hydrated. So I'm just going to take that down my neck as well. Ugh, I could do this for hours. Like, it feels so good. I'm going to bring some blood flow back into the skin. So I'll do a little bit of, like, massaging. I need to get one of those rollers because I need my cheeks to be up here because they're kind of coming down. <laughs> and then whatever residue, I just, like always put it on my hands. Okay, then my last step is just a facial spray. I love any kind of facial spray. I'm such an addict. I will buy so many because they're just so refreshing. I have one in my makeup. I have one in my car. I have one in my bathroom. Like I just, ugh, I just love them so much. And this one I've really been enjoying. It's almost gone. This was the one thing, surprisingly, that I didn't leave in Europe. My baby. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. And I just absolutely go ham with this. Oh, it's so nice. I know people use the lavender one for nighttime, which is very, very good. But I have just been obsessed with like these like refreshing scents. Like they just make me very excited to go to bed and just, they make me relaxed. So I really enjoy it. And then, oh, I lied. My last, last step before I go to bed every single night, I have to put on some sort of chapstick. And you guys know this is my favorite chapstick for going to bed, especially when you're at home. It's so thick. It's so moisturizing. And this tube I don't like to take out in public. But I have just squeezed the life out of this bad boy. But I love it so much. I have a backup tube for when this one is officially done. I decided just to do the original scent. Um, but I think I like the mint a lot 
more um, just because I like minty things <laughs> a lot better but this stuff is so good the formulation is amazing so whatever um, flavor you go for will be amazing so I just put some on my fingers take it all over my lips and then whatever is like left over on my fingers I'll just put on my elbows because <laughs> I ain't trying to waste this and that is my skincare so again I still struggle with marks and spots and breakouts and yada 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 but this stuff has really been calming my skin my skin is not as red as it usually is usually I have like my cheeks all red um, and I really think it is mainly because of that toner that I've reintroduced into my skin as well as the face wash it's just such a nice gentle face wash but really just gets in there and cleans everything out I just wanted to share my skincare journey uh, with you at this moment and this is what I've been doing every single night for the last couple weeks it's been working really well and I will keep you guys updated on new products that I use if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let me know your skincare favorites and I will see you in my next video bye